Why do you think it's pumped then? Where was it last week? 62. Started, didn't mm. it start pumping last Friday night? Mm. I think. Uh, we, I think we had a bit of a midweek. We've got a bit of a, mid, uh, bit of a midweek one, haven't we? And then, yeah, towards Thursday, Friday, because we started to get more positive inflows for ETFs, didn't we, mm. last week? Mm. It was the first time it started to change back again. Um, and grayscale positive inflows, which is quite surprising. So I don't think it's a big influence. The UK CPI data was out today. So, so, so why, why, why are we talking about it then? I wrote it down for days. Yeah, yeah. sorry, we're just ignoring some just of the big news. CPI data. Let's start with that then, shall yeah. we? I mean, sure, let's start with that then. Go. So UK is not CPI is now at two point six. Yeah. So what's it come down from? Uh, three point two. I thought three point something. Yeah. It was a significant one. But so the, what does that mean? They just made numbers up and went with it. No. <laughs> I I made a bet with. Um, the accounts team yesterday, I bet them a billion pounds it had come down. Did they take the bet? No. I was going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> billion. Because... Why don't you just bet them something sensible? The way they calculate it, like, so it's just like a 12-month rolling. So you look at the last 12 months, calculate, look at the movements, and then say it's like we're currently at three point whatever it's it was. It's moving average. Yeah. So basically last April was huge. Like mm. the rate of inflation is like a 1.3, like the biggest it's been for, for, for a single month in absolute ages. Yeah, that leaves the chart, mm -hmm. and you get your new April, which is about a 0 0.6 and 0 0.5, and then that's what you're left with to so calculate doesn't... the two point. So, to help, help put clarification, that doesn't mean to say that we're better now. It means that it's that more of a reflection. You just took out that, year, that yeah. bad <laughs> month from yeah, a year ago, from time every 13 months has, ago. Has gone progress. On. Yeah. <laughs> time has and moved the, the, the most galling thing is it's so, that's why I made a billion pound bet. And if anyone that knows me, my max bet's 50p normally. Yeah. But a we have an ongoing. Bet, it, you could just, you just knew. And what's the, the most annoying thing about all this is Sunak, the British Prime Minister, will say that he He's done it, yeah. has conquered inflation. Uh, that he has done it and that he did that last time they mm -hmm. yeah, had it out and mm -hmm. he did get a bit of pushback because anyone in the know knows you, the, the British government has literally zero to do and should have zero to do with it but they mm -hmm. literally have zero to do with bringing inflation down and yet they're going yes did you take that victory? It wasn't a bit of pushback. It was every single comment yeah, well, reply to him people... on the social side of things yeah. was <laughs> abusing him. Yeah. I don't think there was That's a single short, positive what one. A pathetic move. Mm -hmm. It's just to go, yep, yeah, we did it. We, like, I've, I've beaten inflation. Shut up. Was that three months ago, four months ago? Yeah, so, I don't, yeah he did it. I'm not sure. He won't come out this time because there's too much pushback from last time. But... Yep, time has moved forward. Oh, there you go. It's two hours ago. Oh, my God. Two hours ago today, like, it's a major moment for our Hard economy. Hard work and sacrifice. <sighs> they don't see pushback. They just we, continue on. We need to read what he's actually uh, saying. That's... <sighs> The little his, rat. His hard work and sacrifice for other people. something like that at the beginning. Is so it? have a listen. Yeah. Go on. When then. I came into this job, I made it a priority <sighs> to halve inflation. We've delivered on that. And now, as I said, it's back to normal. That's not just because of our plan. No, that is whoa, working. Whoa, whoa, it's because of everyone's collective hard work and sacrifice. Not back to normal. That ain't back to normal. No. Like people, people also to like think like that means the cost of living is you know back to it's mm, not no. it's the rate of increase mm -hmm. so it's like this divergence bump, between yeah. the haves and have nots is still now massive so mm -hmm. you have to get that back to some semblance of no normality where an actual person with a full time job can avoid afford a house you're so far apart at the moment it's well, they're two separate things to what I guess what he's talking about isn't it but I know they're, they're yeah, intertwined mm -hmm. and I agree with you there but, um, but to claim what's, is some what's normal victory because in my head, they're going to be saying 2% is normal, which it still isn't back at 2%. So he's just mm -hmm. playing the light mm -hmm. from what they classify as normal. I would then say normal, you want down at 0%. Because if it's back at normal, why are interest rates still so high? And they, they, that would be, be the question back to him and see his response. That's, that's interesting. The, 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 the inflation, the uh, everyone now is predicting the interest rates will be we'll start coming down, down yeah. in America. So that makes all the, the markets a bit more, but that'll, more buoyant. That'll take time still. Yeah. And he's saying, oh, we've got back down to normal, but in the meantime, for the next... 24 months we're still going to have high yeah, interest that, rates. That, if they control the rhetoric around really it. really say that? What? People are only just starting to feel the benefits. <laughs> what benefits? <laughs> that is a wild, yeah. wild statement. <laughs> it's, yeah, this is always, this, it's always the case, isn't it? When, when it goes up, it's global factors. When it goes yeah. down, it's solely mm -hmm. their yeah. responsibility. Yeah. They, they've managed to do this. It has nothing to do with you. Suddenly, it's, it's his, he's claiming the victory. I don't get it. It is laughable. I, yeah, I honestly don't get why politicians and why 
parties like this do that why don't they just be honest and say mm -hmm. it's gone up because of us it's come down because of us or it's gone up not because of us and it's come down not because of us either it's just moving because that would be showing the honesty and publicly mm. admitting that and pushing that to the public public are seeing through these things these days do you think oh, they, they are, are they, oh, the majority this, is, of this public. is twitter this yeah. is as cynical on well, twitter any, mm. if you go to any social side there's there are abuse on every platform i think for when they put this stuff out I don't know. so but you're right i don't know and i don't know how many people would be the majority of the vote in public active. i think are just Mm. Drinking his Kool Aid, right? Just I don't believe. I've never heard anyone say they think Rishi's good. No, no, I've same, never but heard like that. he was never voted in. Hmm. So mm. I don't know. But like, unless you truly are informed about inflation and how it works and stuff, you kind of just believe mm. the mainstream, right? So that's what I mean. Do you believe him in what he's mm. saying? Do you believe mainstream media is mm. maybe a slightly different thing? Mm -hmm. um, or do people just. Yeah, they don't believe him, but they just carry on with life mm. anyway, and they mm. don't really care. Mm. And they've got to vote for someone, or they don't have to, but they'll vote mm -hmm. for someone at some point and just vote for it. Um, but if somebody come forward and just was so brutally honest about it and said, it's come down, we've done lots of things, they, they, they say what's mm -hmm. happened and actually explain things properly and be honest, would that give them more credibility and a better mm -hmm. reputation? And then would they get more votes if they're mm -hmm. just actually honest with this stuff? I don't know. I, should, yeah, yeah, I, I think, think so. Well, yeah, there's no such thing as an honest politician, no. is there? It's, they just can't no. work their way up to these positions being honest. Mm. Which is... He's controlling the agenda. Sucks, yeah. Enough people might believe that he has had an effect on it. But just, they're just not in this room. We well, they're, not, they're not on socials either. I've never mm, said, honestly, no. when you look through the, any comment, there's not mm. a single positive comment. <laughs> well done, that. Rishi. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the that. thing that most Maybe. people, well it's like Rishi. always the Hashtag smaller well minority Rishi. that are commenting and have problems with it. Most people might watch the video and move on. It's always the minority the, that are loudest. Yeah, obviously. a lot of people just but, don't yeah. care. They're just happy that it's brought down. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I don't think they, they won't mm. believe him, but they also don't care mm. enough to give an opinion or even mm. form an opinion. They just move on. Yeah. Anyway, but I think Bloomberg had a good chart because you could just, it's, we're kind of... Still America paying for, for that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> America, for, like, if you look at the CPI charts, like America came down first, then Europe came down, then we're slightly behind and we're all gone down to similar rates. But America have seen a slight bounce up because they did a lot of, you know, the, to fund their national debt. Mm. Um, and then Europe seen a last. So I just think we're slightly lagging behind. I think it'll probably has to see a similar pattern and bounce back up in a bit. Funnily enough, you saw, did you see the banks? I think I shared some of that the other day. The banks, uh, HSBC, Barclays, a couple of others, had actually reduced their mortgage rates. In mm. a, I, I assume in anticipation mm. of this as well. That's yeah. Um, so After they, making record profits off the back of yeah. everyone's mm -hmm. perceived notion that they have to increase yeah. their mortgage rates in line with it. Which they do not. So yeah, well done to the banks if filled their coffers. Well, they're anticipating inflation movements ahead mm. of CPI coming out as well. Mm. Which I th they come down by they'll, much? They'll always no. It was book It was like zero point one percent or something. Or it one one of them wasn't even that. It was tiny. Mm. Anyway. Okay. And it was also only if you put down. It was something ridiculous. If you put down a forty percent deposit you get a 0.1% decreased oh, interest rate. Wow. Jesus. It was like, if you put it down a 40% deposit, you probably, about that. Yeah, you probably don't care about the 0.1% yeah. coming down if you put in 40% deposit down. Mm. Um, I can't imagine many people put 40% deposit down no. on property. 